Welcome to the Daz and Gaz Radio Show. On tonight's show, music from Tim Shaw and Snez, and we'll also be having a chat about impotence. Do we have to? No, we don't have to. It bothers me. <laughs> don't bother me. It's a personal thing. Nah. There is a talking point on the tip of everyone's tongue. Uh, what would that be? Impotence. Impotence! Yes. It's been brought to the fore through a few things that have happened. Well, Ian Turpy was uh, recently in court. Yes. And they're trying to claim he's not impotent. <laughs> and, and he says he is, because he made the ad, you know, for you, the old nasal spray up yeah. the old nose, and apparently your penis comes up. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how that works. <laughs> Wouldn't you think they put it down the penis, you know, the spray? Do you suffer from impotence yourself? Well, how do you know whether you suffer from impotence? Maybe well, it means you can't get it up when you're with someone. <laughs> well, is that what it means? Can you get it up by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're kidding? It wakes me up. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> How do you know it's not just your penis going, I don't care what you think, I'm not interested? What if your mind's telling your penis, come on, hurry up, and your penis is going, no? You're in conflict then, and so... But why would the penis be going, no, I'm not ready yet? <laughs> Since when have you met a penis that's not ready yet? As a matter of fact, we're usually ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> With Viagra, you have to be ahead of time. You have to plan that you're going to be having sex. Yes, yeah, you know, I don't understand that drug, because apparently if you take that drug, you know, you, your penis stays erect, doesn't it? Even after you've finished, you're still walking around knocking into doors. After sex, you couldn't just roll over and go to sleep. You'd have to... <laughs> You'd be up all night. You would. Impotence happens for a few different reasons. Um, performance anxiety. Uh, stress. Yeah. Alcohol. No. The old brewer's droop. You know, that's always a good excuse, but most of the time when you have sex, you're drunk anyway. So <laughs> Exactly right. <laughs> Maybe it's nature's way of telling that the woman's just not good looking. <laughs> Well, well, Although I did tell my wife that one, and she goes, well, maybe it's nature's way of telling you that she's too good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Always got to come back. <laughs> They're ahead of us. Mm -hmm. But how do you know if you're impotent? Don't worry, women will tell you. Will they? Yeah, same as if you're a premature ejaculator. They'll tell you? Oh, yeah. How do they bring that up in conversation? Well, they'll say, is that it? What, what, are, you, are you telling me that you've, oh, been, yeah. <laughs> you've been in bed yeah, I've with women that they go... Yeah, uh, is that it? Excuse me. Yeah. Do you put music on in the background when you're having sex? You can leave your hat on. You put that on and people will be dancing around with just a hat on. Or What do they mean by that? I, I think they meant a different hat. <laughs> Don't you? I think they meant like a condom. Maybe. Because I look at a condom as a hat. Yeah. Uh, call me stupid. Okay, stupid. <laughs> okay. I like the ones with the ribs. I, I always turn them inside out and keep all the pleasure to myself. <laughs> I know there are tests you can do to find out if you are impotent, Gary. What? And it, now, it's been, on, it's been on a few television shows. What you can do is you may not be able to get an erection when you're awake, but certain things happen at night time when you're asleep. You could be getting one in your sleep. And the way to find out if you do is what you do is you buy a row of stamps. When you go to bed, yeah. you wrap the stamps around the old fella. Yeah. If you wake up in the morning and all the stamps are broken apart, yeah. there's hope for you. Right? <laughs> At least you know you can crack one. <laughs> My mate's tried this. He's gone to bed with a row of stamps around his old fella. He woke up in Perth. <laughs> <laughs> He's a heavy sleeper. He would be. <laughs> I'm 
you so you're not impotent. You've got no problems. Well, I don't think so. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I think I've got the reverse problem. I, yeah. I can't get the little bugger to go down. <laughs> yeah. I hit it with a spoon, everything, nothing. Maybe it's dead. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what impotence is. Your penis is dead. You know, women's impotence? What? what? Uh, it's a headache. Yeah. yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. We can't do that, can we? We can't go, oh, not tonight, I've got a headache. Yeah. Well, up here? No, down there. Yeah. Remember, I've got two heads. Yeah. And she'll say, and one brain. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know where that is. Yeah. <laughs> We're very much on the side of women here tonight. Poor old Ian Turpy, you know, he, he, he's, he's a fantastic entertainer mm. and uh, one of the best comics I've ever seen. Very sharp. And uh, I, I, I believe he's impotent. <laughs> kind of weird, isn't it? I'm on his side and I've yeah. got to say, yeah. I think he's impotent. <laughs> yeah. Normally, what do you somebody would somebody get upset about that, but yeah. he's probably sitting back there going, thanks, Gaz. <laughs> <laughs> if only more people like you are out there. To... Yeah, like the judge. <laughs> yeah. How does the judge know yeah. that he's not impotent? Well, I reckon he must just sit in court. They put out a whole bunch of Playboys and penthouse <laughs> magazines in front of him, whack on a, <laughs> whack off on a couple of videos. <laughs> Get him to sit there, Mr. Turpy. Can he just sit there in the nude for a little while? Yes. And we'll just observe you. <laughs> we'll see if anything should come up. <laughs> and we'll be taking notes. <laughs> right. Now, well, obviously, nothing come up. Apparently, after a night on the Terps, women should feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching the Dazzin Gas Radio Show on TV. Stick around. Coming up later in the show, the music of... The Fabulous Snez. After the program, do yourself a favour, go into your room, get on your computer and log on to dazandgaz.com. Mm, and get all the information you want about our guests uh, or about us or, or just about the show in general. Mm. It's all there, information packed. You can contact us if you want. Absolutely. We Doesn't like mean we'll read it, but you can contact no, us. We like the mail. Yeah. You're watching the Daz and Gaz radio show on TV. Right. 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 Gaz, the other morning it was very early. Unusual. There was a knock at the door. Yeah. And I thought, who could it be? Who was it? Oh, it was them. <laughs> them who? Those people who like to come around and knock on your door. Oh, the religious people. Yes. Yeah, spreading the word. Oh, it was great. Sunday morning, nice and early. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I was praying that they weren't there. Yeah, but they dear. were. Yeah, if there really was a God, maybe they wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> they come to the door and you yeah. know straight away. They're, and they're always nicely dressed. Oh, they work in pairs. Yeah. They team up. Yeah. It's that gang mentality yeah. at the door. Yeah. And, uh, but luckily we've got a lot of security. you got no security. I've been to your place. Well, we've got a grill. <laughs> and uh, and it's lockable, so that's enough. Yeah, I mean, good. you look through your little hole first, yeah, and you have a look and you go, oh, why, when you think oh, they probably heard us, they know we're here. <laughs> but we'll have a bit of fun anyway. <laughs> and I've opened the door and then they, and they said, you know, would you like us to read you a, a passage of uh, and I said, I said, no, listen, mate, I, I probably don't need to today. I think I'm right with hearing anything. Um, and then the guy said, you probably have your own beliefs. And I said, yes, I do. And I believe that you shouldn't be here right now. I said, by the way, we've got to take our four-year-old son, Damien, to the hospital. He's getting the, the 666 tattoo removed from his forehead this morning. Is there anything else you'd like? <laughs> They blow me out, those people. Unbelievable, aren't they? They blow me out how they find God, mm. and then they've got to tell everybody else how to find God. Yeah. You know, like, it doesn't happen anywhere else in your life, does it? You know, in any other area. Like, when you lose your car keys, you don't have your next door neighbour running in and going, I can help you find them. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you're watching the Daz and Gaz radio show on TV. Gaz, you know our show here, the. Daz and Gaz, radio show on television. It's rated M. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know what that means? What? It's for mature audiences. Yeah. Only. Anyone yeah. under 15, I think, can't. Needs parental... Guidance. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and how bad your parent when she goes, hey, come here, watch this. Yeah, I'll guide you through it. <laughs> you do see the warning at the start of the show, and these are the things that you have to look out for, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's adult themes, Ooh. which is which is right. I mean, we, yeah. we want to be, we well, want to target adults. We're not the yeah. wiggles here. And we are adult. Yeah, we've had experience. Yeah. Violence. That's something we're not. Well, see, we haven't had any violence. None. Not yet. Not on set. Not ever. <laughs> 
after after the show we have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've had plenty but, of that. But, but as part of the show, no violence. No violence. Sex scenes. Sex. We've had no sex scenes no, whatsoever. No, not even a pair of breasts. No, no. But we probably could arrange it. Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah. <laughs> Coarse language. We never do any of that. Oh, we've said shit. Yeah, we haven't said f- No, we haven't said f- And we won't say f- You know why? No. Very f- bad word. That's right. We haven't even said f- either. No, no f- No. No f- No f- Coarse language. Oh, we just did that, didn't I? We, we did language. a coarse language. Coarse language. language. That's and the first bit of coarse language we've ever done. And that yeah. was just to make a point. Yeah, that's right. Drug no, use is another one. No drugs in our show. I don't, I don't think we've had any drugs, have we? Never. No. No. We could be shown anyway. Yeah. We're not as bad as that title says we are. No. Unless we have to become that. Yeah, and I'd love to be. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm attracted to M. James Bond's boss. Was it? M. M. Yeah. See, I never knew that. You're obviously a very big James Bond uh, fan. Yeah, love it. Everybody wants to be James Bond. Hear all these actors that keep you knocking it back. You would have made a very good James Bond. I You've got the, the dark it. eyes, yeah. you know, the, the, the piercing yeah. eyes, yeah. Your, your, your cheeks, yeah. your yeah. smile. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I find you very attractive. I know, I can tell you're not impotent right now. <laughs> <laughs> We could really become an M show Why? with all those things. If we can get a naked woman in here next week punching you whilst having sex, saying some very bad language while she's snorting cocaine. Well, I'm happy with that, but except for one bit. What part? Who's she having sex with? <laughs> Daz and Gaz radio show on TV. And coming up after the break, the fabulous music of... Schnez! Bless you. Thank you. So I'm surfing around on the web, Daz. What were you looking for? Oh, I was looking for nothing in particular. <laughs> yeah. When I stumbled across dazandgaz.com, mm. where I purchased one of these. Wow, the best of the Daz and Gaz radio show on TV DVD. It's jam-packed with highlights. Goes for an hour 45. Yeah, a lot of music, a lot of comedy. It's a bargain. Mm. Check it out. Mm. You are watching the Daz and Gaz radio show live on TV. Seems to be a penis show tonight. Uh, I don't know if you remember that situation in the States, uh, the Bobbits. Remember? <laughs> Everybody knows the Bobbits. <laughs> Pretty wild, isn't it? It's a shocking way to wake up. You'd be lying back there thinking, oh, hang on, I'm about to have a go here. Well, God, her teeth got sharper. Yeah, well, that's cold. Ooh, 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 that actually hurts. A little too much tooth there. What are you using a bread knife? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, I often think to myself, if you chop a penis off like that, uh, is it like a chook? and runs around the room. <laughs> no, that'd be a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently she threw his penis out in the street and I'm wondering, maybe she didn't throw it out in the street, maybe it ran out there on its own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here, I'm sick of it. I can just see that poor guy, you know, out there on the street, you know, picking his penis up out of the gravel <laughs> and going... She loves me, <laughs> she loves me not. <laughs> she loves me, <laughs> she loves me not. Surely it wouldn't have been that hard. Surely he would have just picked it up and went, she loves me not. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I would have thought. <laughs> did they ever get divorced? Or? <laughs> Well, I'm just wondering, did they ever patch it up? Well, you know? <laughs> patch up their marriage or the penis under the... Well, I know he got his penis sewn back on. Yeah. Apparently it's fine. Get him to put on an extra inch while they're at it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But it'd be a weird thing, wouldn't it? You know, going to hospital with your cock in a bucket, maybe, with ice. With ice. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> I'm finding it hard to get an erection. <laughs> Why is that? Well, because my penis is in this bucket. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'd like you to put it back on. Yeah, yeah. I turn to like a brother For love that's like no other My best friend that dog A soldier by my side Protecting what is mine Miss that crazy dog Lazing in the summer Alive without the drama Yeah. 
<laughs> you know my favourite uh, channel on, on oh, Foxtel? What is it? It's the, the FTV. FTV? Do you know what FTV is? No. Has that got anything to do with naughty things? It sort of has. It's a uh, fashion TV. And it's just fashion parades. Oh, yeah. And, and models just walking up and down the catwalk in various yeah. states of undress or dress. Weird like, concept, that shit. Like, you watch it and you go, what's the point? Yeah. Other than just to have a pervert. You never see those outfits you know, anywhere else, do you? No. It's only ever there. No one wears that crap. No, you always see that there's a woman on the catwalk, she's got a lampshade on her head. Yeah. She's got her breasts hanging out the top of her shirt. That's the bit I like. There. Okay. What the hat? The breasts. And you never once... No. Walk down the street, or you never see a woman coming to work, coming to the office with that outfit on. No. Never. Never. What's the point of these fashion parades yeah. unless they're going to actually sell those outfits? Those outfits. Mm. You, you're dead right. You're dead right. I, I don't understand the concept at all. And the price of these dresses, too. You know, the, the, the less dress there is, yeah. the more expensive the ensemble is as well. You know, yeah. like it'll be a, a bit of ribbon here, mm. but that'll be. Ten thousand dollars covering the nipple. Well, maybe the ribbon's only worth a thousand bucks, but there's a nine thousand dollar cocaine habit that you've got to give <laughs> <Yeah>. to them. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be it. Yeah, and the models then they go out and they go like, "Here's a million dollar necklace." You know, yeah. here, have a good night out. Please wear this for us, but please don't don't lose it. Yeah, have some cocaine. <laughs> Hi, and you're watching the Daz and Gaz Radio Show on TV. Once again, if you do want any information about the bands or the show itself, just log on to dazandgaz.com. And coming up on next week's show, the fabulous talents of Aubrey and Santhi. Out of a Dutchie. I've noticed that I'm finding straw dummies really attractive. Mannequins. Mannequins, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of them are hot. The ones with the heads or without the heads? Well, no, there's one down the road from my place, right? I, I love her. She hasn't got any arms or legs. She's one of them. But boy, what a body. <laughs> Gorgeous girl. I love her. Sometimes I stand out the front of the shop just staring for hours. Yeah? Mm. I think, yeah, I think you need help. <laughs> Do you think so? Is there something wrong with her? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But I'm just window shop. <laughs> Is there anything wrong with that? Women do it all the time. Well, you know, window shopping in Amsterdam is a whole lot better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, they got some windows. At least they're real. Don't masturbate while you're watching television. How many times have I told you?